Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make caramel or candy apples, which I prefer candy, I mean caramel. And what I'm making today, I am going to call it caramel because it's going to be brown. But, um, I have to make this quick. So what you're going to be needing is red or green beads, uh, toothpicks, and paint. And something to mix on. Okay. And a hot glue gun. So what you're gonna do first is take a bead and glue it on a toothpick. I'm going to try this again. Okay, so then you're just going to let that dry. Oh, and you're going to need scissors too. Ha ha. Okay, so just sit that down. While that's drying, if you don't have a caramel color paint, um, then just do what I'm about to do. So I took a half of a toothpick and squirt some dark brown out with white, a bit of white, not even that much of white. And mix it. kind of really hard to mix this kind of paint because these are like the cheap paint like a little paint to paint clay or crap ew and that makes like really color it makes it all lumpy and crap I don't like my paint I guess it's just a paper I don't know And I'm really sorry that I got paint today, so I won't have to use nail polish. <sighs> yeah, I've been using nail polish for, like, a lot of things. I added a bit too much white to, like, I'm going to add a tad of brown. Like a bit around. So that's a caramel color. Hold on. That's a caramel color. So I'm going to put my paint back up. Oh. Unless you're going to use them again. I'm um, probably not. So just going to put them back in the whole case. Okay, now your apple should be dry. Your apple on the stick. Well, now it's the apple on the stick. It was just a bead. Take your toothpick, well, take your toothpick and scoop every little bit off the toothpick that wasn't on the toothpick onto the apple. Okay, take your little apple, just dip it around in that. Just whirl it and, you know. So... 
so then um you're pretty much gonna sit that on something like a paper I don't know cardboard piece I don't know something and well just hold that take your scissors cut it to the desired length well don't cut it actually just make a mark because you can snap it like that yours doesn't have to be the really length but mine is and just sit down like that um so yeah that's basically all there is to it so that's caramel apple um if you have tan just go ahead and use tan or flesh tone or something I wasn't sure if this was like an an orange or like a tan so I'm gonna try it out right now I just took a hold my scissors I don't like how it didn't just come already open because these things are really hard to get open like they're seriously hard struggling. I uh, got it. Finally. And uh, yeah, it is a caramel color. Like. Hold on, I'm going to squirt it out on this paper. Well, it, if I mix it with a little tiny bit of brown, it will be a caramel color. It's sort of a caramel color to be orange. Like a mustard. Right here. Yeah. It's not bad. But I still prefer the one that I just made, so for my caramel. But um yeah, that's how you make a caramel apple and if you have like a flesh tone or tan or a caramel look, uh go ahead and use that. Don't mix the brown and white to waste your paint. Just use the caramel color that you have. So basically that's all that there is to it. And just let your caramel apple dry on the piece of paper. Uh, to, like, just move it from one space because it'll get, like, that messy and it'll stay on the paper. So just keep moving it for a while. And, yeah, that's all there is to it. So, bye, guys.